Yo, what up? It's your boy Ant Wright. Do me a favor and hit subscribe. I'll be uploading at least four videos per week. Don't want you missing out on future projects. This is your channel as much as mine. So comment below who or what you want me to break down next. Young Gunner. Patrick Baldwin Jr., 6'10", small forward out of Wisconsin. He is the number two player in the class of 2021. Uh, he's cut his schools down to a final list of 10 teams. Georgetown, UCLA, Virginia, Duke, Wisconsin, Kentucky, Northwestern, Michigan, North Carolina, and his father coaches at Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Uh, he's going to have two different player comparisons. He's going to have Jason Tatum and Clay Thompson. With Clay, the similar demeanor on the court, the way they can attack you, and of course, their shooting prowess. Uh, with Jason Tatum, just being a great shooter, very smooth and really doesn't waste his dribbles or put too much energy on nonsense. His handle and attacking ability get him an A. This is his lowest grade of the entire video. 6'10 guys should not be able to handle the rock like this. You'll see later how unfair he is. He does a great job at getting low against the defense before utilizing his first step, splitting the defense or maneuvering around the defense without much pushback. He handles the ball like a guard, carries himself like a pro when he's in attack mode. You can see in the way he starts to push out his dribble and separate himself from the defense. You'll see him at 60 feet taking two dribbles for a dunk or layup. Uses his length and can get to the rim using either hand. And I don't know about you, but this last take and reaction definitely give me Klay Thompson vibes. As a pure shooter, he's an A plus on catch and shoot threes. I don't give out A pluses very often, but this is going to be the first of two A pluses I'm giving out to Baldwin. At 6'10", he is easily shooting over defenders, shows a sweet stroke and with a nice form and perfect release. His feet are always set, jumps straight up and down on his shot and finishes on balance. Doesn't matter if he's sitting still, uh, you know, waiting on the pass, moving, or coming off of a screen. His steps or his hop into his jumper is always consistent. Flawless jump shot. Uh, very flawless with endless range. Still a pure shooter off the bounce. For this, he's getting another A+. He just has that elite balance and sweet form. And at 6'10", there's not much you can do defensively. You're pretty much at his mercy. You saw earlier how he can easily take advantage of the defense when they decide to press up on him and play aggressive. He hits you with that simple combo and blows right past you. He's hitting defenses with these same combos, but playing off the reaction of his opponent. A hard combo and Baldwin can back up the defense three to five feet, which is more than enough to rise up and knock it down from anywhere on the court. Really likes to take his time dissecting the defense, and when they give him that tiny window, he pulls up and makes them pay. Overall, Patrick Baldwin Jr., in my opinion, should be number one in his class. I think with him and Jonathan Kaminga, I think Kaminga has him athletically, but Baldwin is, is, is better in every other facet of the game. Uh, he just makes basketball so simple and doesn't force the action. Including the G League select team, wherever he chooses to go, will have him for only one year, since he will likely be a one and done and a lock as a future lottery pick. Can't guard me.